y'all. Thanks for joining us for November Shiloh Saturday. For this month's program, we're going to learn about the history of elk in the Arkansas Ozarks. Today, you can see elk in various counties in the northwest region of the state. But did you know that at different points in time throughout our state's history, it wasn't always as easy to find elk in Arkansas? For today's program, we're going to take a virtual field trip to the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission's Ponca Nature Center in Ponca, Arkansas, where we will be joined by facility manager Lauren Cannon. Hi, my name is Lauren Cannon and I'm the facility manager here at the uh, Ponca Nature Center in Ponca, Arkansas. And today we're gonna be talking about the history of elk in our area along the buffalo. So the main parts of habitat are food, water, shelter, and space. And um, one of the great things about this area along the Buffalo National River is it provides all of those things to the elk that we have in the area. They have their water source with the river, um, there's plenty of space, and then they've also got shelter in the mountains and the trees and that sort of thing. And so it really um, provides the, the perfect habitat for the elk to remain along the Buffalo River corridor. So the eastern elk is native to this part of the United States. Um, there is no record of um, the eastern elk in Arkansas since the 1840s. Um, they, they went extinct during that time due to civilization, you know, settlement and things like that, we believe. I mean, of course, that's been many, many years ago, but um, there were no hunting regulations then. And so people would harvest, you know, as much as they possibly could and try to sell the meat or sell the antlers and that sort of thing. What we have now are actually Rocky Mountain elk that were brought in from Colorado and Nebraska as a reintroduction effort. They are very similar to um, how we believe the eastern elk were, um, but they are a different subspecies. So one of the most common questions we get is, so you don't have that many elk in Arkansas, do you have a hunting season? And the answer is yes. Uh, we actually have two separate hunting seasons, both in the month of October. Usually one is the first week and one is the last week. And those are on a lottery system. So um, Arkansas residents only can put their name in for the lottery and um, then they'll draw and those people get issued a permit. We also have private land hunting, um, which is open to anybody as long as they um, buy the proper licenses and have landowner permission. The reason that we offer so few elk tags is there just aren't that many animals. Statewide we're looking at between five and six hundred animals and so you have to take that into consideration when determining um, how many animals to allow to be harvested and so that's why um, you know the lottery is the they get a tag and that's they only get to ha harvest one and then there's also um, with the private land is a quota and there's a phone number you have to call and make sure quota hasn't been met um, twice a day so that that season only takes the correct amount of animals as well. We really focus on um, herd health and how many animals can we um, take out of the population without causing a detriment to that population. So this is actually the second reintroduction effort of Rocky Mountain Elk in Arkansas. The first took place in the 30s um, and was in Franklin County around Ozark and that herd um, grew to around 200 animals and then just kind of disappeared. And partly the thought is that that was due to overhunting, loss of suitable habitat, and just natural mortality. So these elk were um, brought in beginning in 1981 and throughout um, a four year period to 1985 is when we saw 112 of these Rocky Mountain elk brought to Arkansas. This reintroduction has been very successful. Um, we've gotten up as high as close to 700 animals, um, but the last few years we've maintained a population between five and 600. So another question that we get asked really often here is why do the elk not expand um, from this area? And that's kind of by design. So we have a five county area that's considered the elk management zone, and that's Newton, Boone, Carroll, Madison, and Searcy counties, with the biggest populations being in Newton and Searcy counties along the Buffalo River. Now, if you do see an elk outside of that core elk management zone during deer season, we actually allow you to legally harvest that animal 
um, and that's so that the elk kind of stay in this elk management zone. So something we have in Arkansas is chronic wasting disease. And if you haven't heard of chronic wasting disease, it is 100% fatal um, and is in the cervid population. So that's our deer and our elk. And one of the reasons we don't want these elk to expand too far is because they do have a lot wider range and we don't want to allow them to possibly carry that disease to an area where it doesn't already exist. So one of the main reasons that people visit us here in Ponca is they want to see the elk in Arkansas. And um, that viewing takes place throughout Boxley Valley. So Boxley Valley starts just a quarter mile from our location and then runs south for seven miles. And there's lots of open fields down through there and those elk like to come out and graze in those fields. Primarily dawn and dusk is the best um, opportunities for viewing. Additional Boxley Valley elk viewing tips provided on behalf of the Ponca Nature Center include utilizing the wide shoulders along the side of the state highway when pulling off the road to view elk, being aware of property boundaries such as fences and gates, and enjoying elk from a safe distance. For more information on how to best view elk in Boxley Valley, see the elk viewing tips printout on the Ponca Nature Center's website.